Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel and today in this video, we are going to look at how actions can be used inside our components. Now, through our previous videos, we did touch upon a little bit on actions. Otherwise, we couldn't have saved the to-do using the form. But in this video, we are going to look a little more deeper into what actions are and how we can use them in different ways. So let's get started. The first thing in this video, what we are going to do is I'll create a new component and I will name it to do add form. The idea here is right now, if we look at our to do list, which is inside views, live wire, and it should be to do list dot blade, right? Okay, I did a mistake because I should have created the add form inside the to do. Fair enough, we will refactor it later. But right now in the listing component, we have the create form as well. And typically, for any separation of concerns, we should have the form as a different component. So going by that principle, ideally, what should happen? I'll open up the new component blade file. I will cut this markup over here and paste it in here. So we continue to have one primary element or root element. Okay. And in here, I will do live wire to do add form. With this done, ideally, if I refresh, nothing changes on the UI because now the form is getting rendered. The only difference is it is coming from inside just so that you are sure. Okay. However, obviously now the functionality will not work because in here we have this markup. And if we go inside our apps folder, live wire to do add form and also open up to do list, you will see that this form submit is not anymore inside the to do add form because we just copied the markup, right? Which basically means add anything. And now if I try to add, uh -huh, nothing happens, right? So this basically means a straightforward thing to do will be cut this method from the to do list, come over here and add that to do needs to be defined. So I'll just add that as well. It relies on a property. So maybe we get that from that particular component as well. Define it over here. And now if we try to refresh, try after refactor, hit add. And yes, we can see that this component is working as expected. Basically, this means that the actions inside any component can be triggered so that we can run a PHP function from any interaction through the UI. Correct? Like typically what we would do with JavaScript, where, you know, if we have a button on click, we will write something and then we will trigger that. So now we have only done a submit, we can also do it with other typical keys like on click. For example, if I remove the form, if I now refresh, if I add something and I hit the button, nothing will happen because it's not a form submit anymore, right? So then what is the other alternative? Maybe what we can do is, because it's a browser kind of, uh, no, in the end, we will have all browser events. We can do something like wire, key down. Key down is an event which allows us to tap on the keys of a keyboard. So if I do enter and to that, if I call the function, the name of the function is handle submit. I do that. Let's hit refresh and try once more. This time I will hit the enter 
and can you see it got added but then this does mean button will not work i'll continue to add click on the add button and believe me nothing is happening right so obviously we can do one more thing which is wire on click and ideally this should work let me see on button click add nope this didn't work is there a problem with the expression let's try click maybe that would work i don't remember otherwise we'll have to check the documentation add and yes so it is click so there are multiple ways we can trigger the actions and you know, there is no right and wrong i mean both of them are correct the only thing is we are triggering it from multiple places now there is one more thing which you can do which is chaining of key down events which basically means let's just say if you want to do shift and enter we can do that as well which basically means now if i hit refresh shift plus enter if i just press the enter button in the input field it will not trigger however now if i press the shift button and then do enter it does work so these are some niceties that you can tap into with live wires uh, you know wire events and you can use them one more thing which you need to understand is remember i told you that with live wire all components are actually alpine components so that means any interaction which is being triggered at the front end can also be tapped in in the back end and a great example of that is let's just say instead of this wire click if i do something like okay and i will just remove inputs key down event as well so that you know we are sure that the input enter will not work right so i have over here a little bit of code which is alpine code on click okay and alpine allows us to dispatch certain events so i can do something like dispatch maybe add to do okay and then right at the top somewhere over here i can do a simple thing like add to do and then call the handle submit now this ideally means that if i now add a new to do and click on the add button can you see it adds that to do through the back end so now how that this happen well we haven't called the uh, handle submit function on the front end we call the handle submit function by raising an event from the front end component which was being listened by you know this wire add to do thing and it called the back end function so you know this is the advantage of live wire where you, know, you can have your interactions for example you may have a drag and drop kind of thing and when you drop and you, when you have the drop event you can literally raise uh, dispatch an event which can internally trigger a back end function so that's the beauty of these events and this is how you know you can use the actions to play around with your components on the server side front front end and you know get the magic going on so yeah that's about it guys that's what i wanted to cover in this video of actions with livewire let me know what you think if you like this video then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel